I spoke to Vice Premier He about our goal of achieving a healthy economic relationship that benefits both our countries over time. We do not seek to decouple our economy from China's. This would be damaging to both the U.S. and China and destabilizing for the, for the world. But a healthy economic relationship requires American workers and firms to be treated fairly. I raise concerns about the breadth and depth of the PRC's non-market policies and practices and their global spillovers. These are concerns that I hear frequently from U.S. businesses. Vice Premier He and I also focused on the need for joint work on global challenges. The physical and economic impacts of climate change are mounting across the globe, including here in California. We discuss specific areas where we can enhance our cooperation on climate finance beyond our co-chairing of the G20 Sustainable Finance Working Group. I also underscored that too many countries continue to face high risk of debt distress and a debt architecture that does not work as it should to support them. I emphasize the need for us to build on our good recent progress in the Zambia case to make much faster progress on other debt restructuring cases. And we discussed the crucial roles we have to play in making the debt architecture work better and faster. We also spoke about our efforts to promote global financial stability, as well as the importance of strengthening the World Bank, IMF, and other parts of the international financial architecture. Earlier this week, we took a positive step towards strengthening the IMF with the executive board's approval of an equi-proportional quota increase. This would bolster the IMF's ability to fight crises at a critical time for the world economy. Finally, the United States continues to clearly communicate how we're using economic tools to protect our national security interests and those of our allies through transparent and narrowly scoped actions designed to achieve a clear national security objective. I reaffirm the importance of directly communicating the design and intentions behind our national security actions to avoid the risk of misunderstanding and miscalculation, as the United States has done with our rollout of the executive order on outbound investment.